Hello everyone, today we will be talking about geriatric clients. In 1965, Bernard Isaac, professor of geriatric medicine at University of Birmingham, UK, created the term geriatric giant symptoms. It refers to immobility, instability, incontinence, and impaired intellect or memory. Modern geriatric giants are cyberpenia and instability, incontinence, intellectual impairment, iatrogenesis, incoherence, insulin resistance, immobility, inanition, and impoverishment. What are cyberpenia and instability? The word cyberpenia is from Greek, which is starts for slash and penia for loss. Musculoskeletal disease is generally defined by the progressive loss of muscle mass and strength, particularly in elderly populations. The diagnosis of cyberpenia encompasses decreased level of voluntary traits, muscle strength, muscle quantity or quality, and physical performance. The complications of cyberpenia and instability are first, they will be having difficulty in walking, climbing stairs, and standing up from a chair. Noise easily falls due to instability. Then, due to the falls, they will have features such as the hip, knee, and others. According to research on average, individuals with cyberpenia have a 58% higher risk of fracture than people without the condition. Lastly, mortality. The mortality rate of older adults with cyberpenia is 41% higher than those without cyberpenia. Is incontinence. Incontinence is inability to control the flow of urine from the bladder, known as urinary incontinence, or the escape of stools from the rectum, known as fecal incontinence. There are five types of urinary incontinence, which are firstly, stress incontinence occur when urine leaks as pressure are put on the bladder, such as during exercise, coughing, sneezing, laughing, or lifting heavy objects. Then, urge incontinence happens when people have a sudden need to urinate and cannot hold their urine long enough to get to the toilet. It may be a problem for people who have diabetes, asthma disease, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, or stroke. While for overflow incontinence, it happens when small amount of urine leak from a bladder that is always full. A person who has diabetes and spinal cord injuries can also cause this type of incontinence. Next, vaginal incontinence occur in many older people who have normal bladder control. They just have problems getting to the toilet because of arthritis or other disorder that make it hard to move quickly. Lastly, the person who has mixed incontinence experiences more than one type of urinary incontinence. Most often, this refers to a combination of stress incontinence and urge incontinence. Impaired intellectual is a significantly reduced ability to understand new or complex information and to learn and apply new skills. Iatrogenesis. It is harmful medication reaction or effect caused by non-drug medical procedure. The causes of iatrogenesis are overuse of medication, underuse of medication, non-endurance, intentional where the patient believes on the need for it, concerned about adverse effects, and intentional where it is a practical barrier such as misunderstands, instruction, and forgetfulness. Next, adverse drug events. The companies, however, spend less on research and more on advertising. They provide a large number of drugs, but they do not make the level of danger connected with those drugs obvious. Next, drug drug interaction. Lastly, use of unsuitable medication. Delirium. Delirium is a sudden and severe change in brain function that causes a person to appear confused or disorientated, or to have difficulties maintaining focus, thinking clearly, and remembering recent events, typically with a fluctuating causes. Next, the symptoms of delirium are the individual's level of consciousness and thinking has changed abnormally. The individual may appear sleepy, withdrawn, and depressed, or agitated, or switch between these states. The individual also has a difficult time staying focused. The person may frequently change the subject in a discussion, having a difficulty in remembering new information, expressing great views, or appear disoriented in place or in time. Visual hallucinations occur in some patients. The causes of delirium are infections such as urinary tract infection or dehydration, medication which is the use of anesthesia or painkillers, other failures such as severe lung or liver disease, temporary dysfunction arising in the brain such as an epileptic seizure, transient ischemic attack or a concussion. Insulin resistance is a biological response to insulin stimulation of target tissues, mainly the liver, muscles, and the adipose tissues that is impaired. As people get older, their skeletal muscles go through many alterations and dysfunction. As a result, the rising incidence of type 2 diabetes in the elderly may be connected to skeletal muscle aging. However, the underlying process remains unknown. For the management, physical activity is an important component of diabetes management. Mobility and frequent physical activity are crucial aspects of geriatric nursing care. These activities can help prevent and minimize hyperpenia or muscle loss as a result, falls and fracture are reduced. Those at risk of osteoporosis should avoid high impact exercise. Mobility it refers to the state in which an individual has a limitation in independent, purposeful physical movement of the body or of one or more lower extremities. Complication. Musculoskeletal inactivity leads to a deterioration of the muscles. Cardiovascular, a form of low blood pressure that happens when you stand up from sitting or lying down. 
Respiratory, lower activity levels often result in more shallow breathing, which can lead to pneumonia. Pressure ulcer, four factors that can lead to pressure ulcer are compression, shearing forces, friction, and moisture. Management for immobility are immediate progressive immobilization and proper positioning to prevent contraction due to flattening of muscle fiber. Next, repositioning frequently as many as possible to prevent from pressure ulcer. Moving on to inanition. So, what is inanition? Inanition is a state of malnutrition which can result from a variety of factors, including severe infection, reduced awareness, heart failure, following difficulty, dementia, hallucinations, depression, cancer, and drug side effect. For the treatment, OT can teach skills and set reminders for labeling food and following safe procedure. Next, use adaptive equipment like a school bowl or plates, build up utensil handles or a rocker knife. Next, teaching older individuals financial management and budgeting strategies. That's installing a ramp or railing on the exterior of the home and identifying age friendly roads for assessing food stores. Impoverishment, the act of making somebody poor or the state of being poor. There are two factors of impoverishment. Firstly, is out of pocket OOP payments a crucial part of the direct cost of health care service from the patient perspective. OOP payments are considered important causes of financial crisis to patients and families as it creates financial barriers to seeking health care. Damaging health expenditure is a measure of a financial hardship that occur when out of pocket health spending exceeds a certain threshold of the household ability to pay. Out of pocket health spending that exceeds 40% of the total consumption minus food expenditure. The older household require more funds for chronic disease treatment and rehabilitation, which is more common among the elderly. For the contemporary issues, since 2020, the pandemic COVID-19 had hit all over the world. It has such a huge impact even to the elderly. They had to face free social distancing since the elderly have high comorbidity. Because of this, the elderly social interaction is decreased. For example, visitors can't even visit the elderly in a nursing home. Do you guys think that social isolation and loneliness could be the new charity giants? Share your point of view in the comment section below. That's all from us. Thank you.